and likewise, you know, the common sense, like in the states, is not in the Canada, but even further in other countries, you know, across the across the globe, it's not going to be the same sense that people uh, think is common among everybody else. But anyways, um, if you take thoughts, air, and you take water, um, politicians, even religion, what is it they're trying to sell you? Well, they're trying to sell you an idea, they're trying to sell you the thought of how. Either reincarnation works, either why is this so unfocused? Um, how reincarnation either works, either how what happens, uh, who is the savior, whatever the case is, right? So if you take on their thoughts as your own, if you accept those thoughts, well, then they are now connected to your emotions most of the time. Anyways, shouldn't be that way, but most of the time, and that's where polarity things happen, right? So. If someone else from another religion, or a uh, Democrat versus a Republican, let's say, liberal versus a conservative, um, if uh, you guys have opposing, you're on two different parties, can you still be friends? Of course you can. But what happens is, if you believe in someone's ideas, you accept them so deeply, especially if that person is going around saying, everybody else with an opposing idea, opposing thoughts, um, are bad. I don't know if it's my eyes that are blurry or the fucking screen, but it seems like something's fucking blurry. My bad. Anyways, um, if someone takes on those thoughts as their own, and especially if like part of those thoughts in those thoughts it's saying their doctrines, like anybody else who's opposed to this, is is bad, is evil, is whatever. Well, then your emotions get fucked up and get in the way. So that those that's why those lines are connected because your thoughts and your emotions are connected. And it goes the same thing for the Earth and the Fire. Getting that in a second. This is my idea, and I wanted to tie into all this that I forgot about, it came back to me, um, but, so, political, you know, um, people think Trump is the worst, people think Trudeau here in Canada is the worst, and anybody who agrees with Trudeau, and, you know, if, let's say, your friends, and you, you assume your friend is like you, and then all of a sudden your friend says, you know, no, I support fucking Trudeau, I think what he's doing is top notch, and you're like, what? I'm blaming him for all the bad shit that's happened to me. If you're supporting him, you're part of my problem. So their emotions get in the way. They're fucked up now. It's like, well, this is my friend. I've always loved him. But now, I got this fire started. And I'm passionate about the fact that he's not with me. You know, like, he's one of the people that's fucking up this world and shit like that. Anyways, um, but... You can see this is how, this is why, so, in a perfect world, everybody could have their own fucking thoughts and ideas and how the world works, and it wouldn't matter. Your emotions wouldn't get tied into that. But because everything is either black or fucking white in our society, then this is what happens. This is where you get the polarity between these things. So I gotta shut the window, I'm actually getting kind of cold. I don't know why, I'd rather record in the car, but I do. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't change with the new fucking vehicle. But anyways, um... I'm sorry. Anyways, same thing with your love and your fires. Before I forget this idea, I might as well say it. But for your love and your fire, what happens is you are passionate about something. Let's say your art, your creative. Um, fuck, how am I gonna tie these two together? So you love somebody. You're you dating somebody. They're your love. You know you love them. Okay. And then all of a sudden, if you get the idea, think they are cheating on you, your emotions come into play. And now, your passion for them, the passion to want to go to work every day, the passion for wanting them to come over to clean house, cooking them a meal, doing things, helping them out, that passion is now gone because you are thinking they're doing something bad to you. So your emotion goes from love to fear right so this person you love you're having this internal conflict because now your passion is probably trying to figure out prove that they either are or are not cheating on you rather than trying to strengthen the relationship not believe what other people fucking say blah 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 but see this is how your love this is the dark side of passion of mars the dark side of venus everything has it not that venus is dark or mars is dark this is just our personifications of these things but point is and you love somebody and you feel they've done you wrong. Well, you're hurt. You're fucking hurt. And you, you're no longer passionate. You no longer have that 
I want to do everything for you, I want to be with you for the rest of my life, you're all like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Nothing is what I thought it was, so on and so forth. And that passion becomes, you know, ego-driven, like, well, you fucked me over, so I can fuck you over. You still claim you love that person, yet, you know, you feel they hurt you, so you want to hurt them back. You're using fire and the wrong way. Your passion is now something that's not on that same level, but you can see how the love and the passion, whenever they're they're tainted, you know, how they connect, and it's kind of, like I said, with the, poli the politicians, they sell you an idea, but with that idea, if you decide that everybody who's against your idea, you emotionally hate those people, let's say, well then, you're going to be all fucked up. That's, that's what ideologies are. That's whenever your thought and your emotion are connected to each other. And you fucking believe that anybody with an opposing ideology or a different one is somehow your enemy. So then, this is whenever you start loving your ideology and you're passionate about your ideology, but you can't see the broader scope of it. You think everybody is opposite of you whenever they're doing the exact same thing as you are clinging on to a different ideology that works for them and instead of just agreeing to disagree agreeing that that works for you it doesn't work for me agreeing that we all have different circumstances so it shouldn't matter what i think is obviously what you believe works for you maybe you have had different circumstances where you know it's better to be conservative over liberal or it's better to be democrat over republican and maybe the person, the other person comes from somewhere where it was the opposite. Maybe it's the way they were raised. Doesn't matter. Point is, you gotta get past it. So, this is where depolar being depolarized does help. This is absolutely the case because I don't care if you are Christian. It's not, it's not, it's not gonna hurt me. It doesn't hurt me. I don't hate anybody who's Christian. How could I? My wife, kids, even myself is. That would be an internal fucking that would be an internal conflict, okay? And you don't want internal conflicts. That's when shit gets real fucking bad, real fucking fast. So it's not the point, it's not to hate the people that, you know, whoever fucked with the Bible, whoever did the bad things, because the Bible is, is tremendously uh, powerful and helpful, but whoever did the bad things in there, or retranslated and all that, they're dead and gone, and to hate the entire Christian religion, or Christianity, Roman Catholic, whatever you want to call it, Pope and all that shit um, wouldn't serve me whatsoever at all and so I don't go there I don't go there I do like to point out things about what happened in the past um, but you know in all honesty there's no point in hating them because that's when all these places will get fucked up and you don't want your passion to be something that has to do with politics you know your passion has to be something to do with truth you can be a truth seeker you can have a hobby of finding information and becoming as wise as you can, maybe you want to be a philosopher or whatever, and that's fine. But it doesn't mean you're going to stay on one idea and stick to that and then persecute, knock down, make fun of all the rest of them. Then your whole polarity is off. You are either plus or minus. You're not both. You're not in the middle. And you need to be more in the middle because not every culture is the fucking same. <laughs> but that's a little bit more on how love and passion can be the same thing. Because love and hate are both part of Earth. Same with passion and rage are the same, or aggression, or whatever. So you can be passionate about something, but you can also be hyper aggressive. Rage, you know, um, it can take you, it can, it can over consume you. It's like the too much of a good thing and not enough of a good thing. So, like an example of that you love somebody so much. Um, too much, okay, because you don't have that line of like, okay, I love this person, but I also love myself, but you're going to sacrifice yourself to make that person happy, that's not so good, you're going to say, you know what, I don't ever get to go out, you get to go out all the time, the one time I ask to go out, you say fucking no, and like you can actually tell me I can't go out, and uh, I'm just going to take that. No, that's having too much love, but that's going to create a block, because eventually that's just going to come out, and you're just fucking fighting it. Well, that's going to be like, well, I thought I, I was doing this for this person. I love them enough to trust them, and yet they're not reciprocating that with me. But for them, it's tied to the fire part of them, their passion. They're fearful if they let you out, you're going to do something behind their back, either because they've done that before, or it's been done to them before. 
And that's, once again, how this line gets construed. Therefore, you can stay and be, stay that fucking, um, that doormat for that person and never do what you really want to do. Or you can become better, or, or sorry, bitter. You become bitter and become passionate about, well, you know what? Fuck this. I'm teaching this person a fucking lesson. And I'm doing it out of the guise of good. But, you know, really, it's just you need to have a conversation. You need to analyze these things. But, you know, and likewise, you can be so passionate about doing one thing. And I think, this is my problem in the beginning, I'm so passionate about everything occult and learning this as fast as possible to change my fucking life that I stopped doing what was necessary, <coughs> spending time with them, um, always, even when I was with them, having a headphone in, learning, listening to a book, reading, whatever, you know, I didn't have any balance there. My passion took over, and it was blinding me. You know, I was trying to be depolarized, yet I was completely polarized in one area only. It wasn't developing my own thoughts, it wasn't using, creating anything of use, it wasn't, you know, using my emotions, my empathy, anything like that to help out, it wasn't loving my kids and teaching them, you know, it was just all about me, I was just passionate about one fucking thing. Anyways, I think the more I talk, I'm either going to keep... You know, maybe I'll come up with a good point, but I think I should just end it there. <laughs> I think I gave enough info there for now. The second video is not really doing so well because the idea in my head, I never really got it back. And I'm a little fucked up. Not fucked up as in I'm on anything, but fucked up as in, yeah, if I keep going, it might be worse. And I actually want to talk about something today and start creating my new my next episode will be released on the weekend. So stay tuned for that. It could be released anytime as in today or tomorrow, but most likely it'll be probably Saturday. But anyways... Once again, thank you, and 